Hey guys, Gogs are here and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today we're going back to Fur Park for the first time this calendar year and Mother will take on Hibs. Now, I am quite apprehensive today because, you know, our home form, one win, two draws in this season and it's the new year. So, yeah, there's a lot to be improved upon. But here's what when Mother will go and get something today. We've got to. We're three points ahead of the drop. But yeah, bring it on. I'm on the well. Of course, today's game is a half past one kickoff. With the game being on Sky Sports. The last time Motherwell won a game on Sky, I believe, was against Dundee United in November 2021. We won 1-0. Uh, Tony Watt scored. Now, over the last seven games uh, in the league, both sides have won one game. Ready for another 90 minutes of torture slash drama slash excitement all rolled into one. Defend here. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Alright. 
come on. After that first half, I mean, you could argue both sides were going at it and it, it might have been quite an even affair. However, we were behind because of a lack of decisiveness in our own box and it was because we allowed Aidan McGeady to put a good ball into the box and I think it was Penny who was on Nisbet and Nisbet was given the freedom of Lanarkshire to take a touch and then volley it into the bottom corner. That's the story of our season. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but we keep conceding goals exactly like that, and that is why we're not winning games. We also hit the bar in the first half as well, um, on Lamy, uh, but Lamy was also, uh, I would say, criminal at the goal we conceded because he just st stood there and watched the ball come into the box instead of trying to inter intercept it. That's one of many mistakes that we've not learnt from this season and uh, it's just been a regular occurrence. Apart from that, I, d I, don't, I don't really think there was much else to say in the first half. It was, I thought it was quite even Stevens. I thought Hibs looked better going forward than we did. But, yeah, 1-0 at half time. Uh, let's... <laughs> Crack on with the second half. Second half, about to kick off. Uh, and then I'll kick off.
second half it was a lot more entertaining i'll say that for a start i mean we made the we made the change to bring on mckin straight at half time and i thought that worked brilliantly um he he looked a bit more creative going forward and then we went two behind and hibs sort of relaxed in that sense uh we were done with a ball over the top penny turned the wrong way and the hibs fast boy runs through and squares it to Nisbet for an easy tap in for 2 0. And that's where the game opens up, actually. Uh, because Hibs looked that dominant and they were looking that much more in control with the two goal lead. And they believed that they could get more from us because we defensively are absolutely rotten. Um, we then got a goal of our own. We 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 beat Hibs at their own game with the over the top through ball, and uh, McKinstry ran through and scored to make a two one. At that point, we should be making our changes to to go more attacking and try and pull ourselves back in the game because you know they say the two goal lead is such a dangerous one for both sides. You know, at two 0 down, you could end up going to, it could be at 1.4 or 5 nothing but if you get the first goal back then the swing starts to happen and the momentum changes momentum was starting to change with us and we were creating more chances and we were looking much much more assured and then Porteous wins the ball off Goss I think it was uh, and Goss I completely shat out of it from that moment there Nisbet goes and scores his third goal of the game. I mean, I don't think you could ever have an easier hat trick than Kevin Nisbet had on Sunday. And by that point, it's too late to get anything back from the game. It was at 3 1 that we made our changes, our further changes in bringing on Tierney and someone else. The name escapes me for the moment, but I don't care at this point. Like, we should be making those changes that we made at 3-1 when we scored to make it 2-1 because the fresher the legs, the better the chance that we're actually going to go and get something back from the game, but we didn't. And uh, that that's where we lost the game. I, th I think it's been happening far too much recently. We were lucky against Livingston to get something from the game. Against Rangers, you're never going to get anything at Ibrox unless we're extremely lucky, which we have none of this season and it's just frustrating and I know some Hibs fans will be sitting there laughing watching my misfortune because it's Motherwell's turn but just remember where you've been before say what five six years ago was it when when Hibs were on that spiraling depth of depression uh, because they got relegated to the same season Hearts did but Right now, it's painful every week. We've got Ross County at home this Saturday. 
this is potentially the be all and end all. We have to change something. It has to be signings that we, we have to bring in before Saturday. Because we need fresh ideas. And I'm not blaming the manager yet because it's not Stevie Hamill's fault. Although he has to have some of the blame for the results we've had at some points this season where he's just he's not had the experience to go and uh, or to have the balls to make a big change in the middle of a game that a 75 year old manager would probably do quite easily but yeah anyway guys thank you very much for watching i'm i've come down with the cold i've actually got work in about half an hour um but yeah I hope you enjoyed my misery once again and I'll see you in the next vlog against Ross County. I'm out.